On September 5, 1969, in the remote Siberian village of Rzovchik, part of the Soviet Union, an extraordinary event took place. That seemed like something out of a science fiction novel. Perhaps our ancestors who lived here a long time ago were the work of a cosmic intelligence, because a sarcophagus dating back 800 million years ago, or according to some scientists, 100 million years ago, was found at a depth of 70 meters. This incident occurred underground in coal mines. Miners were mining coal, as usual at a depth of 70 meters. However, during the rhythmic impact of metal against rocks, a miner unexpectedly hit his pickaxe against an object softer than stone. This voice sounded very different from what they were used to. The miner stopped, wiped his face, and curiously cleared his vine, revealing a crack in the wall that led into the darkness. With a few masterful blows, the stone collapsed and the miners were astonished to see the wall opening into a secret chamber that had not seen light for thousands of years. Its lights cast long shadows across a landscape that would leave the scene etched in their memories forever. They saw a large marble sarcophagus of magnificent design, about three meters long and one meter high. Immediately afterwards, the head of the mining district, Alexander Mosseligan, received this incredible report from one of his miners. Realizing the potential importance of this discovery, Alexander immediately notified Soviet officials, triggered a series of events that led to speculation and conspiracy theories. Alexander ordered the stone sarcophagus to be brought to the surface, carefully and meticulously. He placed the sarcophagus on the surface. As the sarcophagus came to the surface, it was decorated with gold and jewels that miners could find in their dreams. But later they were disappointed. And the Soviet officials took the sarcophagus and gave nothing. They discussed that they would confiscate it. Without even informing them about the contents, the miners, defeated by their anger, decided to open the sarcophagus and what they saw inside astonish everyone who saw it. Instead of the expected treasure, they found the perfectly preserved body a woman estimated to be between 25 and 30 years old. The woman lay as if asleep, her long brown hair reaching down to her waist. He was wearing a white dress that was transparent and appeared to be made of an unknown fabric. A mysterious pink liquid surrounded him, and next to his head was a small black box that the miners couldn't figure out what it was. However, years later, with the invention and development of the smartphone, those who witnessed the incident said that they thought the black box next to the woman was a device similar to a smartphone. The woman's skin was remarkably smooth and clean, with no signs of decay or aging. His skin was incredibly white, was whiter than the skin of an albino person. He looked livelier and healthier than the miners, and everyone was fascinated by his beauty. The sarcophagus remained open for several hours, Almost all the villagers came to see him, curious and perhaps motivated by the striking appearance of the pink liquid. A brave young man decided to dip his finger into the liquid and taste it to surprise the assembled crowd. It was tasteless and odorless. The teenager's mental state worsened after a week. His confusion was so severe that he was unable to recognize his own house and eventually succumbed to the freezing winter cold and died. His death would not be the only death reported. In connection with the mysterious discovery, the woman's name soon became known as the Tissel Princess. After Tissel, the name of the region where the village was located. Finally, high-ranking officials arrived. They were accompanied by police, firefighters and military representatives. Along with them were Soviet intelligence agents in civilian clothes, and they came in a red helicopter. They immediately evacuated the area around the sarcophagus and warned the gathered crowd about the contagious dangers inside. They decided to airlift the sarcophagus to a place where it could be analyzed. However, efforts to transport the sarcophagus by air failed due to the sarcophagus being too heavy. Instead, they decided to pour the pink liquid into separate containers. This would make the sarcophagus lighter. While I was doing this, something incredible happened. When the pink liquid dry, the perfectly preserved and alive-looking female body lost its lively appearance, turning from white to black in a few minutes before the eyes of the audience. 
This led many to believe that the pink liquid and the sarcophagus had some properties that could protect the body. Princess of Tissel finally moved to Novosibirsk for scientific research. A few weeks later, a professor from Novosibirsk came to the village of Rzovchik, gave a lecture about the extraordinary discovery made in the mine. He explained that the princess's preservation was unlike anything previously encountered in the field of archaeology and paleontology. He stated that the fluid surrounding it had inexplicable properties unlike any mummification process, natural or artificial. A dozen tests, including radiocarbon dating, were carried out to determine the age and origin of the woman who emerged from the sarcophagus. He said that radiocarbon dating, a reliable method that can determine the age of organic materials up to 50,000 years, is insufficient. Nothing that came out of the sarcophagus met the expected standards. Scientists have used different methods, analyzing geological layers and using more advanced dating techniques. The result of these analyzes was revolutionary. Data showed that the Tissel Princess and the sarcophagus date back approximately 800 million years. This shocked the scientific community and called into question basic assumptions about human history. This date made the princess much older than human civilization, even older than the emergence of complex life forms on Earth. This surprising discovery shows that we need to reevaluate the timeline of life on Earth. If the results are correct, the existence of a civilization capable of creating the protective liquid and sarcophagus will be proven. Science shows that technology existed at a time when the planet should have been populated with only the simplest life forms. This information only requires rewriting human history. But this wasn't the only theory offered. Some believed that the princess was a space visitor, with much less sunlight than Earth and had somehow ended up on our planet. The princess's completely white skin was seen as a sign that she came from such a planet. The discovery of the Tissel Princess opened a Pandora's box full of questions, theories and conclusions. Stories began to spread and an article about the discovery appeared in the local newspaper. However, this situation met with a quick and harsh reaction from Soviet intelligence. KGB agents returned, called the story nonsense, instilled the idea that there was no such thing and that no such discovery had been made. They also began collecting all newspaper copies containing the article. The professor and the editor-in-chief of the newspaper, who shared the information with the public, were punished for talking about a news that the Soviet government tried to hide from the world. After all, this was the peak of the Cold War. No one dared to talk about the Princess of Tissel again, until the collapse of the Soviet Union. That's when freedom of expression and independent media merge. Another paper covering this discovery has been published. The article published in 2002 was titled 800 Million Years Old Woman, first in the Caucasian newspaper. Then it appeared in Arcane newspaper. The journalist who wrote the article claimed that the person who told him this story was a retired KGB colonel who had worked in this organization in the past. The story gained popularity again. A memorial stone was erected near the village where the sarcophagus is currently located. The plaque on the monument says, In 1969, a cemetery was discovered not far from here by coal mine workers. To Mitaru's Unlakunda Bur murmur lahit, a beautiful young woman lay. According to tests, the woman was buried more than 100 million years ago. The issue was even discussed on central television. Witnesses who saw what happened in the village with their own eyes confirmed the accuracy of the discovery, but there was more to the story. Years after the discovery of the Tissel Princess, a strange series of deaths emerged among people associated with the sarcophagus. Just six months after KGB started examining the stone sarcophagus, misfortunes began to occur in the village of Rzovchik. Misfortunes began cruelly. The life of Ivan Karnaukov, the man who discovered the sarcophagus of the Tissel Princess, ended in a terrible accident. Karnaukov didn't drink alcohol, but it was later reported that he was drunk and died when his motorcycle was hit by a truck. In the continuation of the sad tragedy, one of the miners who dug up the sarcophagus died by drowning 
One month after Ivan's death, geologist Vladimir Podroshetnikov explained that these discoveries are not the only ones. In the summer of 1973, military forces came to the Tissel region again. According to Vladimir, the soldiers set up a temporary base in the forest and prevented the villagers from entering the forest. No one could understand why the soldiers came. Villagers were told to remain calm, but no explanation was given. Years later, what Vladimir said was confirmed by Valery Malavani, a retired general of the Federal Security Service and historian of special services. According to archive records, the region was surrounded by barriers in 1973, near where the first sarcophagus was found. There was a lake where other sarcophagi were found, to more sarcophagi bearing a surprising resemblance. To the Tissel Princess sarcophagus were found. These sarcophagi were taken to Moscow and dated to be 200 million years old. According to reports, mining activities continued in the village for a while, but only new workers were employed. Local people are denied entry, while some dismiss the story as a fabricated tale of public exaggeration or journalistic fiction. Others believe in the truth of the story, since all physical evidence related to the discovery was collected, and everything was kept secret. We only have the statements of the survivors and the information revealed by Valerie Malavani. The fact that there was a large coal mine close to the village of Erzovchik was completely covered up in 1972. IT is a noteworthy information that the oldest coal deposits found on the world are in this region. It is believed that there are photographs and video recordings taken in the first moments of discovery and during the initial examinations of the Tissel Princess, that these records mysteriously disappeared from personal and corporate archives. According to some, this information was collected, hidden or deliberately destroyed. The government's role in suppressing evidence and suppressing news sparked further speculation. Many people question and the reason for this government intervention. Was there something inside the sarcophagus or in the presence of the Tissel Princess that would harm the historical narrative or national security? Or was the reason for the oppression an effort to monopolize this discovery that will contribute to human history and technology? The mystery of this discovery, combined with the government's efforts to hide the facts, caused people around the world to become more curious about the story. Interpretations made without concrete evidence have given rise to numerous conspiracy theories about the story of the Princess of Tissel. One of these theories involved the existence of an advanced, ancient civilization that existed long before any known society. With all her physical characteristics, the Tissel Princess was not extraterrestrial and was likely a member of an advanced ancient civilization that may have been the ancestors of humans. According to those who believe in this theory, the technology in the sarcophagus was the result of the knowledge of a lost superior civilization. They suggested that this civilization existed on Earth at a time when the planet was uninhabitable or had only the simplest life. According to this theory, the Tissel Princess was a member of this ancient society and perhaps an important person. Some say that the calculation of carbon dating is wrong and that the age of the Tissel Princess is 50,000 years. According to a group of people, it may have come from the wreckage of a spaceship and the black box found in the tank may have been a wake-up timer or return vehicle. Proponents of this theory claim that the materials and methods used in her preservation came from a source that surpassed any known human technology indicating that the Tissel Princess was not of this world. Lack of physical evidence turned this discovery into a contemporary legend. Remains a fascinating and controversial story. What do you think about Tissel Princess? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts with us.